Welcome to learn more on built-in analytics in SAP Business by Design. In this video, we would like to illustrate the focus topic interactive analysis options. We would like to show the options you have to navigate in charts and tables interactively and how easy it is to structure your question and answer dialog and obtain better insights to drive actions and decisions. I'm Stefan Kraus and I'm product manager for analytics in SAP Business by Design. Let's have a look into our system right away. I'm logged on as the CEO of our reference company and I launch the corporate sales dashboard my company is using to monitor profit and sales KPIs. By the way, if you want to learn more about corporate dashboards, there's a separate video. Today, we would like to deeper look into gross profits and a good starting point is this, is this KPI card, which shows me the gross profit of 5 million and I now get to the KPI details screen, which informs me in the header that these 5 millions are to be compared with a target of 4 million and that we are 26.8% already above the target. The details show me how the 5 millions are distributed by product categories, but today I would like to deeper look into my cost of goods sold and understand the underlying cross profits better. To explore the situation further, I Press on the Analyst Data button, which brings me to the analysis pattern, the multidimensional reporting. Here I can, for example, change the selection. I want to see the year to date data. And as we are in January, we can see that this is now our January data we are looking at. Here we arrived at a great page where we can explore the new interactive analysis features which we have on charts and tables. On a chart, I can interactively click into the legend and deactivate those bars I don't want to see. I even can further zoom into certain bars and look into the details. And here I always find a context bubble, which gives me the needed information. On the table, I have the ability to get rid of those columns I'm not interested in. So let's remove the sales unit I'm not interested in. Let's remove the sales revenue. Just let's quickly go to the view pane and add our margin key figure, which is important to understand our, our gross profit margins. So let's quickly add this. And uh, we can, of course, interactively sort here. And now let's look deeper into services where I can click on the service product category and get the ability to directly filter it. I can filter and drill down and add a field. I can filter and go to a separate tab in a view. And of course, I still have the interactive navigation targets, which I had in the past. So let's choose filter and drill down. I now want to go to the product level. I add the product as an additional dimension. I can now choose to only see the description by clicking on the description. I can activate the result row with one click. By clicking on the header, I can set or clear filter. So for example, I want to add the electronic parts as an additional information. And with this, I very quickly get to the screen I'm interested in. And uh, that, of course, can then be further used in actions or navigation into the operational views, as well as I can do sharing, sending, downloading, whatever I want to do. To summarize and systematically go through the new options which were added with release 1902, let's have a look at those options step by step. So let's start with the interactive analysis options in charts. We've added numbers for pie chart and stack bar shown in this example. We have seen in the demo the interactive legends where I clicked on a bar and, uh, and, and activated or deactivated the bar. We have improved axis and labels and we have seen in the demo the interactive zoom when you don't see the data and you want to, to look in a smaller section of your chart. For the tables, we have seen that you can click on the header of a, of a table. If it's a characteristic, you can hide rows and set filters. If you click on a cell, you can filter the cell, filter and add a field or filter and drill down. You can filter and choose a view and add it to a new tab. And of course, we still have the go-to navigation targets, as you know from earlier releases. If your column is a key figure, you can change decimals and scaling, and you can remove 
the field. What we haven't seen in the demo is whenever you choose a filter, then a new icon will appear. Let's quickly let go back to our, to our demo. Here you find in the selection pane, the relevant information, the selection shows all the fields which are used to retrieve data from the database. On top of it, you can apply additional filters. As we interactively has, have added service and electronic parts as additional filters, they are applied on top of the data. And of course, you can do this for any, of, any fields you want, like in Excel. Furthermore, we had conditional formatting or exceptions in the past. We have reworked the UIs for conditional formatting, which allows you to color your, your numbers according to thresholds. We had conditions in the past. We renamed it to value filtering, which now explains clearly that we are applying a filter on a key figure. And also the dialog here has been reworked. The same is true for the table and chart settings. We hope that this is now much more in intuitive and of course achievable with a less number of clicks. So with this, I would like to thank for your attention and uh, yeah, stay tuned for more.